All right, today we are heading out fishing. Um, it's my first time fishing this spring that isn't either in a river for either steelhead or walleyes. So it's uh, early May, hoping to get on some crappies and just on a local lake around our uh, around my house, waiting for my friend right now. As soon as he gets here, we'll get some gas station coffee and we'll be on our way and hopefully we can get some crappies. Uh, it's been super warm lately, so I'm really thinking that the bite's gonna be heating up. They're not gonna be in spawning yet, but uh, they're definitely gonna be staging up and they're gonna be biting, so I think we'll have a pretty good day. All right guys, today we're doing some spring crappie fishing. Uh, probably gonna catch some pike, some bass, who knows what else. Basically just doing, I'm throwing a little tube jig, Lamb's throwing a jig in a minnow. Got some bobbers out. Uh, also wanna give a shout out, Terry's Bait Bucket. Told us to uh, give a shout out, just moved locations, just south of 23 on Willow Road. If you're in the Sheboygan area, go check them out. Easily the best bait, uh, bait and tackle shop around. He, uh, he gives you your money's worth and great service. So go check out Terry's Bait Bucket. And uh, now let's go put the beat down on some crappies. Ooh, this is a crappie, it's a nice one. Nope, pike. First fish on an inland lake of the year. That's all right, he's fun too. <laughs> Not exactly what we're looking for, but as long as he doesn't break my line, that's all right, he's fun too. Perfect, right in the corner of the ball. Back in the water he goes. Catch and release. Catch and release. All right, hopefully it's got five to ten nice eating crappies today. I just moved my bobber up a little bit and we got a pike, so maybe hopefully it'll maybe we can get some crappies too if we move it up. Alrighty, first crappie of the day. Oh, uh, maybe not. Frick, another pike. That's all right. Where there's crappie, there's pike. Hopefully, means there's probably some good. Good, uh, good weed structure around it. It's the second pike of the day, third or fourth one we've had on. Only one crappie so far, so hopefully that turns around. Alright. Crappie of the day for me. Some of my happy dishes. Well, it took us, we were fishing three or four different weed beds, basins, flats. But that's what you gotta do, you gotta keep going. Don't give up, don't get content, keep moving around. Finally we come up on the pencils and littler and I thought the crappies are already in the pencils. Or at least a couple are. So hopefully we get a little, couple little bigger ones. This one's maybe not, eh, he's probably about eight inches, so we'll see. Maybe we'll throw him in the bucket and see what happens later. But like I say, keep moving around and hopefully we can get a 10, 12 more. All right, what we're doing is we're either casting on the edge, letting it float into the pencils, or casting in the pockets of the pencils. I can see some fish in that pocket, cast it in there. See what happens. Just like that. Crappie. That's how you do it. Just got another crappie here real quick in the pencils. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, apparently it was not hitting record as we were filming, so. Didn't get him on film, but hopefully we're on to a couple more here. He's got another one. That didn't take long. Here's a nicer one. Crappies are in the pencils already, I guess. Those of you who don't know, if you put a minnow on a crappie's bed, they will eat. It's the most aggressive fish, or pretty much all fish, when they're spawning. They're gonna eat, say so we cut five, we don't really need any more than that. Uh, if we have come bad, they're not gonna label we'll throw them in. But right now we're just fishing for fun, maybe catching a couple nicer ones yet. Um, like I say, if you put a minnow in front of a crappie when he's on his bed, he's gonna eat, and that is a fact. A little in front of where I saw those crappies. Bang. Oh, there's a fish. And boom. Drop down the edge of the weed as soon as you get to a new spot. Every time the spot 
so we're fishing a pretty big pencil fly medium not big but every time you get to a spot and you fish it out and you catch maybe you only catch five maybe you catch 10 or 15 and all of a sudden it starts to slow down scooch down in the pencils fish some new fish if they're in the pencils they're probably in the entire group of the pencils so like I say they're, if they're in any part of the pencils they're in all the pencils fish a little piece of them as soon as you catch those fish and you scare all the fish in that piece go to the next spot and those those first couple of minutes you're fishing a spot in the pencils is usually the best couple of minutes as you can tell Come on. There we go. See, a lot of times, what we're having today, the other day's good. Yeah, no, so we're dropping in these beds, like you said, so we're going to about it. But you almost have to keep an eye on your, uh, on your minnow, because they're not even taking the bobber down. Because they're really not super aggressive. What they're doing is they're just like mouthing the minnow or attacking the minnow because it's on their bed, but they're not going anywhere with it. So you got to keep an eye on your minnow if you got polarized polarized sunglasses, which I forgot today, of course. Um, that really helps. But like I say, keep an eye on your minnow and then set the hook. Otherwise, you're gonna get if you wait till they take the bobber down, um, you're gonna get a lot of crappie gut hooked, or you're just gonna miss them. Well, I told Lane. I said, Lane, there's a really big crappie right here chasing my crappie jig. You should cast your minnow on top. Turns out it wasn't a crappie, it was a nice 13, 13, 14 inch bass. Sweet. Yeah. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, we were pretty much just crappie fishing. Uh, they were in the pencils a little sooner than we thought. So we were just throwing minnows on their beds and they were hitting them. Uh, Inland Lake, we only took five crappies out. We didn't want to, you know, pull our limit out. Like, you know, that's going to destroy the population. If guys take a bunch of crappies out like that, three or four times a week, then that's gonna have a huge effect. So small inland lakes, we pull out five to 10 crappies and that's all we're gonna take. So yeah, we uh, did pretty well. Um, just throwing them windows on the edge, letting them drift into the pencils. Um, beautiful day, it was one of the first super nice days that we had and we had a blast. So I hope you guys had fun watching the video because I had fun making it.